All right, once you purchase the Pro Panel, you're gonna to get to this page that shows this View Content button. To get your download and your license key, simply click on this View Content button here. Alternatively, if you miss this page or you purchase the Pro Panel from your phone, you can access this View Content button in the email that you get when you initially purchase it. You can also access the download and the license key anytime by going back to this original email and clicking this button here. So I suggest that you start this email and you save it because you can always get your pro panel and your key in the future from this email. When you get to your download page, you're gonna see the download button here on the right. Simply click that to download and then your license key will be just below. Once you've downloaded the pro panel, go to your downloads folder you're going to see this zip file here. So you can either double click on that file or you can check it, right click and select extract all. This will unzip the files and expand the folder and you're going to get to all of your pro panel files here. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to install the plugin version of the panel otherwise known as the UXP version of the panel. This plugin version of the panel is going to be compatible with Photoshop 2021 and greater. If you have Photoshop CC 2020 or before that, you're going to simply skip to the next install method in this video, and that's going to be for the CEP or extension version of the panel. So for the plugin version of the panel, this is super easy to install. All we're going to do is simply double click on the plugin and it's gonna open up the plugins manager for Photoshop. So click install locally and then click okay. And just like that, you can see the pro panel is now installed in Photoshop. So when we go back to Photoshop, we're gonna see the panel here appear on the screen. Now all we need to do is go back to the web page to retrieve our license key. So we're gonna highlight the license key and then we're gonna use the keyboard shortcuts to copy and paste the key into the panel. This is important to copy and paste using the keyboard shortcuts because sometimes it doesn't work right clicking using the mouse. So the keyboard shortcut to copy is going to be control C and then go back into Photoshop and put the cursor in the panel and use the keyboard shortcut control V to paste and then simply hit activate. Then it's going to show your user count here and the panel will load. Then you can simply move the pro panel anywhere you would like to in the screen or attach it somewhere in your workspace. If you already have extensions or plugins over here in your workspace, you can just pin it right underneath it, or you can pin it within your workspace in a different section, for example, wherever it makes the most sense for your workflow. You can always refer to the videos on the website by clicking this link in the bottom left corner here, where you can see all the videos on the pro panel, as well as the premium start to finish videos available. And if you have any questions at all about the installation of the plugin version of the panel, you can shoot me an email through the contact page on the website. So the easiest way and the first way that I recommend for you to install the pro panel on Windows is to use the actual application. So in this case, you're just going to double click. And this warning message may pop up in your computer. This is just because I'm not a recognized developer through Windows. But if you just click more info, you're going to see the app propanel.exe. And then you can click run anyways, and it's going to start the installation process. And then just click yes, you can allow this to make changes. And then you'll get to the setup wizard here. Just click next, and then click install now, and then click next, and then install. And then once you see that it's been successfully installed, just click close. And if you have Photoshop open already, you're not going to see Pro Panel here under extensions yet. You're going to first need to exit out of Photoshop and then reopen up Photoshop. And then when you go up to Window and then Extensions, you're going to see the Pro Panel right here. So just click on Pro Panel and then simply go over here to the email that you got with the license key and then just hit Control C on the PC to copy it and then go back to Photoshop click in the box and then do control V to paste it. So one thing to note is that it does need to be copied and pasted to work. If you try to manually type this, it's going to say that it's not an actual key and this is because it needs to be copied and pasted. 
So once you're ready to activate, just click activate, and then it's going to say it was successfully activated in your user account, and then you're going to go up to file and then exit out. So I'm not going to activate this because I'm going to show the next couple methods to install. One thing to note is once you have it installed, you can resize it to be smaller on the screen. The wider version is going to be for the other languages for you to expand it so that all of the different buttons will translate properly and fit on the buttons. But if you're not translating it to a different language other than English, you can just use it in the narrowest form here. One thing to note, if you are using that EXE installer, that's also how you're going to uninstall it if you need to transfer it to another device or install an update. So to uninstall it using the EXE installer, all you need to do is double click on it and click yes and next. And then this time, because it's installed, you're going to see an uninstall option. So simply click uninstall and then remove, and it's going to remove the panel from Photoshop when you close it and reopen it. Now, if for some reason the EXE installer did not work, the next choice is going to be using the auto installer or the manual installer. So to do this, open up Photoshop, then go to your downloads folder again to the pro panel folder, double click on this pro panel manual auto installer you'll see a pro panel manual auto installer.jsx file. So you're going to simply just drag this into Photoshop. But there is one caveat here. You're not going to want to drag this into Photoshop with any type of photo or anything open. You want it to be on this home screen here for this to work. So just drag that onto Photoshop and then click yes, run the script. And it's going to give you a few options here. So first off, this shows you that pro panel is not installed. So this is going to be the auto install button here. When you click auto install, it's going to automatically install the panel into Photoshop. So we'll do that now. We're going to click auto install. And now it'll tell you that the installation has been completed successfully to restart Photoshop. So click OK. And as you can see, it is not going to be there right now. We need to close Photoshop. And when we reopen it, we're going to see pro panel here underneath the extensions underneath Windows. Again, you're going to just right click on the actual license key, copy that using the keyboard shortcut control C, and then going back to Photoshop, you're going to select the box and then control V to paste and then click activate. If for some reason you drag this JSX file into Photoshop and it doesn't do anything, you can either right click on it and then go up here and go to open with and then look for more apps and then select Photoshop 2021 and click OK and that'll open it up in Photoshop or alternatively you can go up here to file and then go to scripts and then browse and then go to your downloads folder select the pro panel open up the manual auto installer and then you'll see that JSX file there you can click that and click load so now we got this box again. So this time it says uninstall because we have installed it just a second ago. So this is how you would actually uninstall it if you've used the auto install method here. So in this case, all we do is click uninstall and then click OK and it says done. So when we close Photoshop and reopen it, we won't see the panel there anymore. And if for some reason the EXE installer doesn't work or the auto installer doesn't work, you can also use the ZXP file here. So this is going to be a ZXP file for the pro panel. And to install this, you need an extension manager. So I recommend Anastasia extension manager for Adobe. So you'll just want to download that and that's a free download there. And once you download that, just double click on it, click next, click install and click finish. And then all you need to do is go back to the downloads folder, go back to your unzip pro panel folder and grab this CXP file and drag it right into the extension manager. And then it'll say installation was successful. Please restart the Adobe application. So if Photoshop's open, then you're gonna wanna close it and reopen it. If it's not open, then when you reopen it, you're gonna see the pro panel under the extensions menu. Again, go up to Window and then Extensions, and you'll see Pro Panel. Click on that. And then we just need to paste the key into the box here and then click Activate. And again, once you have it activated, then you can just go ahead and close Photoshop and reopen it to a fully functioning panel.
Again, you don't need this to be super wide unless you're using it in a different language. And if you're using another language, then it's going to automatically translate the buttons. But if you're in English, you can fit all of the words on the buttons by using it in the narrowest form here. Up here in these tabs, we're going to see a reset setting. So this is helpful if you want to reset the settings for your user actions. We also see a open extensions folders. So this is going to open up the folders that the pro panel is into if you need to manually delete this. For some reason, if the uninstall function didn't work, you can just delete that manually there. So the auto uninstall is going to be right in the box as well. And you can turn the tooltips off and on from this box as well. So we have the tooltips off now, and if we turn them back on, which they're on by default, you'll see we get the tooltips for every single section and just a little bit of info about every single function in the panel. So once you have the panel installed, you can watch the videos as well from the website. The link down here at the bottom will take you right to the videos page, and you can watch all the videos on the pro panel and get started. And that's pretty much it. If you have any issues with the installation, you can email support at johnweatherby.com or you can use the chat function on the website as well. You can use the chat to ask any questions and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, thanks so much for your purchase and I can't wait to see what you create with the Pro Panel.